So I was asked to do this. <laughs> Ron Cronin, I just shared my screen, said there's different forms of asking questions. So there's three different forms of asking questions. There's open-ended, yes or no, and A or B. How you start the question controls the answer. So open-ended questions are questions where you're trying to get them talking. You're trying to get them engaged a little bit more. You want them to explain something, okay? So you do an open-ended question by who, what, when, why, how. Okay, those are the five basic principles of starting a question with one of those words for an open-ended question. Then you have yes or no questions. Yes or no questions is when I don't want them explaining. I just want a yes or a no. So this is really better for closing. Open-ended is predominantly great when I'm prospecting. It's great when I'm pre-qualifying. It, it's great throughout the process of the listing presentation. Typically not your ideal type of closing questions. Yes or no questions are better for closing, okay? Would you rather have a bidding war on your home, not have any offers at all? That's A or B, which is number three, right? So, but it takes away the open-ended. A and then there's A or B, which is like I just said, you're giving them two different options. Would you rather have a bidding war on your home or not have an option to have any offers at all? That is an A or B question, okay? So the homework assignment that he gave was take a statement or an objection or a question that a seller or buyer might give to you and try to phrase your answer in each of these three segments. Because remember, we have to get better at asking questions. So when somebody asks you a question, the best way to close is by answering in the form of a question. That's just typically the best way to go about doing things. But you have to be able to get good at asking questions. And this is a great example on how to do that. So I'm gonna give a couple of examples, a very basic, and then what I would love for you to do is to participate in this little workshop. Now, some of you won't participate because you think that you're going to sound foolish. You're only going to sound foolish if you don't participate and don't practice and then try to do it to a seller. Guess what? I'm not selling my home. So if you sound foolish or stumble with me, that's okay. But if you don't practice and then you go blah, 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 <laughs> to a seller, that's no good, no bueno, or any of the above <laughs> words, okay? So make sure you're participating. So here's a couple of examples. First example, I really want to list your homes, right? So this is imagine you trying to explain to a seller that you really want to list their home. So the first one is an open-ended question. Who, what, when, how, why, okay? How would having an eager, enthusiastic agent on your team impact your bottom line? Okay, so that's a who, when, why, how question. Hold on one second. Close my office door here, okay? How would having an eager, enthusiastic agent on your team impact your bottom line? That is a way of saying that I want to sell your home, but asking in question format, because now I have to give an answer. Hold on one second. The second one is a yes or no. Could you use an enthusiastic agent on your team? Yes. Yes or no. The third one is an A or B where you're giving options. You could choose an agent that is scared and timid or an eager and enthusiastic agent to represent you, which would you prefer? Okay, so three different ways of asking questions on the statement of I really wanna list your home. So I gave another one. If I scroll down here, this is another one I wrote down. Seller says, I wanna sell my home fast. So how can I take, I want to sell my home fast and answer that in the three different questions. So what I wrote down here, okay, first we need an open-ended question. 
So an open-ended question on, I want to sell my home fast would be, when would you like me to present your first offer? Because that's going to make them come up with an answer. Well, I'd like my first offer to be in two weeks, blah, 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 blah. Okay, great. Now, if I want to say, I want to sell my home fast and I want to do it in a yes or no format, do you think an agent with a specific plan of action would get your home sold faster? Yes. Great. That's a yes or no question. Now, A or B, I'm giving them options. Would you like an agent that puts the home on the MLS and waits for business or an agent that puts the home on the market and aggressively goes and finds business? So I'm giving them two different options. Okay, Does it, is this making sense to anybody? Yes, Robert, yeah. I agree. Great. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right, all right, perfect. Okay, so, but we have to be able to do this because depending on the personality style and depending on where we're at in the, in the presentation depends on where we're gonna ask this question, right? So for example, if I'm talking to a driver, really the yes or no questions are the better questions to ask. If I'm talking to an analytical, the option questions are the better questions to ask. If I'm talking to an expressive, the open-ended questions are the better ones to ask. Amiable would follow more along the lines of the analytical of giving the options. Okay, or it could be the open ended. Really, it's more about using the we. So you have to know how to do all three because it really impacts the personality styles that you're talking to. Okay, so who would like to try one? Who would like to, to do this an example? So I'll write the question, okay? I'll write the question and you can either in the chat box or unmute yourself. And seller says, okay, I want to get the most money. Okay, possible. So how could you ask, how could you respond to that in one of these three formats where the seller says, I want to get the most money possible? What would be an example? You could choose any of the three. Just in case anyone's wondering, I can do it. So I don't really need to do this if on my own, if does I want question, to. Does the question need to be adjusted or can it, or? So yeah, so take this. So just like I did here where the seller says, I want to sell my home fast. And I took my answer and put it into three different question formats. So seller says, I want to get the most money possible. How can I, using these rules, open-ended, yes or no, or A and B, what is a easy, simple response? Don't overthink it to that question. I'll give you a hint. You could use the same one from the previous ones. <laughs> okay, you could say, do you think an agent with a specific plan of action would help you get your home sold for more money faster? Sure, sure, absolutely. Do you think an agent with a specific plan of action would get you the most money possible? That's, you could certainly do that one, absolutely. Good job, Patty, gold star, Patty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could you, could you just say really quick, you said a driver needs to be open-ended? No. Oh. Driver is yes or no. Oh. Expressives are open-ended. Analyticals are A or B. Amiables typically are more A and B. Could be open-ended. Can't really go too wrong. When you say A or B, are you mean meaning yes or no and open-ended? No, no, no. So there's three different types of questions. I'm sorry. So 
there's open-ended and then there's yes or no, meaning that the response is yes or no. A or B questions is, is options. So like an example of an A or B question is, would you, would you like an agent that puts the home on the MLS and waits for business or an agent that puts the home on the market and aggressively goes and finds business? So I'm giving them two options. Which agent would you like? So that when you're giving the options A or B, that is analytical. You want to provide that because they want options. Amiable, you're more likely going to give them that because, you know, give them the option. It's a little friendlier. If, but you could do open-ended with an amiable too. Yeah, you just have to be friendly when you say it. There you go. Okay. Robert, so you said uh, amiable, typically the answer A or B. Or yeah. Or A or B, or you could do an open-ended question. Essentially, okay. with an amiable, try to stay away from yes or no. Not that it's going to kill your deal. Amiables, you have a little more flexibility because, as Valerie said, it's amiables are more about tonality and specific words. So you want to use words like we, we're, together, you know, things like that. But for the other three, it's definitely more important to give an expressive and open-ended to give a driver a yes or no, and to give an analytical an A or B. So you could say, how soon would we like, how soon would you like your agent to put your home on the market? How soon would you like to put your agent to get your home on the market? Yeah, that would be a great how one. Soon? Or I want to sell my home. I want to sell my home fast. How soon would you like, how soon would you like to get your home on the market? That's a great one. Way to go, Valerie. So let me put that one under this one as another example. How soon would you like? How soon would you like us? Me. Well, if you're talking to an amiable us, yes. Yes, correct. me, the amiable, right. Put your home on the market. There you go, boom. I wanna sell my home fast, great. How soon would you like me to put your home on the market? Great, perfect, open-ended, makes them come up with an answer, okay? Good job. Are you ready to sign the contract today and put me to work to help you get the most money possible for your home? There you go. Yeah, Patty, that's a good one for yes or no. That is a good one. So I'm going to copy that. Um, for an option, for, for an analytical, you can do an A or B saying, I don't know if this would be correct, but would you rather have a bidding war on your home or not have an opportunity to negotiate any offers at all? Oh, woo all right, boy, I feel like I've heard that script somewhere. <laughs> Is that for analytical? Yeah, it's, a, it's an A or B question. So, so A or B question, you're giving them two options, right? rather have a bidding war on your home or not have an opportunity to negotiate any offers at all. Yep. Yeah, so there you go. So that's a perfect A or B question. Would you rather have a bidding war on your home or not have an opportunity to negotiate any offers at all? Well, I want a bidding war. There we go. That's how we get the most money possible. Right? When we were talking about price. Good. Good, 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 good. So, okay. So we've got some, some yes or no's. Okay. We got some things like that. So what would be an, an open-ended question for, I want to get the most money possible? What would be an open-ended question? Who, I guess what, can, who, what, when, why, how for this? You can, you can just say, um, like, ask them what, what that price is, like what the most, what the most price, I don't know. Never mind. No, you're, you're here. Let, like, no, you're on that. You're on you want that. me to show What's you? A, what is a question we ask in the prequel that could be used right here? There's how much do you want to list your home for? What how much do you want to list your home for? That would be a good one. Way to go, Sylvia. Woo! Okay, so how much 
do you want to? Damn it, Robert. List your home for. And right. you can also ask them how much you'd like to net. I don't know if you want sure. to write a net. Sure, piece. sure, absolutely. How much would you like to net? Okay, there's another question too that's also in the pre call that could be great for I want to get the most money possible. Starts with what? What price won't you go below? Oh! Oh, we're getting it. Not what rice, what price? Brown rice. <laughs> Won't you go below? Right. So, so there you go. So these are, so this is, all right, cool. So I want to get the most money possible. Great. How much do you want to list your home for? Perfect. Makes them come up with the answer. Or how much would you like to net? What price won't you go below? These are great questions that you can use for to get them to explain an answer to you or yes or no questions. Do you think an agent with a specific plan of action would get your home sold faster? Well, or yeah, or not faster, but right? this is supposed to get you, get you the most money possible. Yeah, I do. Or are you ready to sign the contract today and put me to work to help you get the most money possible for your home? Yeah. A or B, would you rather have a bidding war in your home or not have an opportunity to negotiate any offers at all? I love it. I love it. We could also use this one. No reason why you can't copy and paste some of this stuff, right? Would you like an agent that puts the home on the MLS or an agent and waits for business or an agent that puts on the market and aggressively goes and finds business? Well, I want one who goes and finds business. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right. So we're getting... We're getting the gist of this. I like it. Okay, so let's try this. Let's try another one. Who, anyone have any uh, objections or statements that they want to try this one out on? What that we should all try this? How much commission do you charge? How much commission do you charge? Okay, great. So we have three different types of questions we can ask. Give me some examples. Have you had an opportunity to review my plan of action? Have you had an opportunity to review my plan of action? Oh, boy. I feel like I've heard oh, some before. Way fruit. to go, Sylvia. Woo it sounds have like you, you want to net the most amount of money. Have you had a chance to look at my plan? of action okay Ooh. okay so albert you said sounds like you want to net the most amount of money yes sir, yes, sir. okay so so how do we add that as a question what can i add to the end of that to make it a oh, question correct there we go Sounds like you want to net the most amount of money, correct? Or maximize your equity, correct? There you go. And and maximize your equity. Sure, all okay. the above. Am I handling or are you handling? <laughs> <laughs> she's right here next to me. That's what she's doing. All right, all right. Uh, good job. Not, all right. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll 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 do it in two different ways. Right, so everyone, you can combine and do whatever you want. Always taking my attention. I'd Sounds say. like you want to, you said maximize your equity. Sounds like you want to maximize your equity. And net the most amount of money. Get the door. And net the most amount of money. You type, you type like me. <laughs> okay. You know, you know, it's amazing that I was able to type so fast during the retreat, and now I can't type at all right now. Uh, that's that's why I get paid to talk. Sounds like you want to maximize your equity, and that's the most amount of money. Is that correct? Yeah. So that's a yes or no question. Okay, cool. So have you had a chance to look at my plan of action? Yes. Sounds like you want to net the most amount of money, correct? Yes. Okay, great. 
So, so give me some other examples. What would be some open-ended or some A or B questions on how much commission do you charge? Okay. Robert, would, right. are, you, are you concerned about what your family will, I mean, I wanna do something for amiables. Would, and you said open ended or A and B. Okay. So is, it, is it important for for you and your family to net the most? I mean, something like that where you include the group. Okay. So including the group in this. Okay. So oh. how much how much commission do you charge? So what are you and your family going to do with all of your proceeds once the home sells? Right. Yeah, that's an open-ended. That's good. Yeah. yeah what what is, your... I have one. So what is more important for your family? Paying a lower commission or getting a higher bottom line? There you go. Daddy. All right. What is more oh, important for That's your not open-ended. Yeah, it is. No, no. that is that a is an Airbnb. A and B. That's, That's Airbnb. A and B. A and B. Yep. Right. Also good. Also good. What is more important for for you? Paying? paying a higher commission or netting the most amount of money? That's is that what I heard? Or that's it not what she said. Lower is paying a lower commission because they're asking about oh right paying, paying a lower, lower commission. commission or netting a higher bottom line a or a higher, higher net a higher higher price or netting netting the most amount of money i think that's a better way to say it good job way to go patty Woo! you all can do whatever you want with some of these all right yes albert i will be sharing this at the end of this answer your question. no he's not i will i will I'm not, you're doing all the work. I'm not, I'm not doing any of this. You all deserve the notes. Okay, so that is a great A or B question. What is more important to your family? Paying a lower commission or netting a high amount of money? I love it. I love it. Okay. So that, would that be good for an analytical as well? Or do they, analyticals care about their family too, right? Drivers. Yes, yeah. So analyticals, drivers. analyticals, yeah. analyticals just, they just want a reason to do it. Whether it's money, family, whatever the case may be, they need a reason to do it. But this is good for an analytical because it gives them options. What's more important for your family, paying a lower commission or netting a higher amount of money? Okay. Well, I definitely want to net the higher amount of money. Okay. Because sometimes they might say, well, no, I just want to pay a lower commission. Then you have a different problem. Uh I have an open-ended question that everybody should know okay. on, on this one. How much commission do you charge? Um, have you reviewed my plan of action? No. I mean, you could use that. Yeah, you could. But we've already have that. That's a, that's a yes or no question. Have you had a chance to look at my plan of action? How much commission? Oh. Oh. What would be an open-ended question for how much commission do you charge? I charge 6%. Oh, okay. oh, uh, Just tell them how much you charge and that's it. Like, and how much do they want to pay the buying side? Okay. Yeah, you could certainly do that. Okay. So I like it. There you go. That's, but so, that's not open-ended. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. I only charge 2.5%. Seven eight percent. All of it, it. It sounds to me like fees are. How important. much? All you need to do. How much do you want to pay this buying side? Yes, I don't know what an open-ended question is. Yeah, open-ended question means it doesn't something to think about. Right. So this is open-ended because it's not a yes or no. They have to come up with an answer. I no. only charge two point seven eight percent for all of it. How much do you want to pay the buying side? It well, I want to pay the buying side 2%. It's great. It sounds like, it sounds to me like fees are important to you, correct? 
Okay, that's another good yes or no question. That's it, I'm only doing those. Driver, oh, driver. <laughs> <laughs> They're my biggest challenge. Oops, sorry. I'm All sorry. right, let me, let me help you out here, okay? On, on another open-ended question for this. So uh, it starts with if. Now I know that that's not typically how this is supposed to start, but if another agent does not have the courage to stand, stand up, up to you for their own self worth. Self worth. <laughs> how much? <laughs> how much? How much could? How strong could they possibly be defending you and the price you set for your home, or the price? Um, right. How there you go. How strong could they possibly be defending you and the price we set on your home? That's the key. <laughs> Again, she's still in the glory. <laughs> still in the glory. <laughs> Another agent and entrepreneurs stand up for their own self worth. How strong could they possibly? defending you and the price we set on your home because that makes them uh, open it well yeah i guess that makes a lot of sense so and so forth okay so when it comes to commission because they're asking the commission now i understand they didn't the example didn't say well another agent said they could or blah 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 you know but this is we're just giving examples this is all stuff to help with your arsenal okay Let's do one more. You guys and gals are so good at this. My goodness. Okay, let's do one more. So give me another objection, statement a buyer or seller might give to you. How about they don't want to sell, list their home yet until they find a home to purchase? Okay, so I want to find a replacement property. Or I list. Okay. All right. So what are some examples? Hmm. What are some examples? I'll help you. I'll help wait, you. With wait, one. I'll, wait, I'm gonna help wait, wait, wait. Okay, so how soon do you need to be in your new home? That's an open-ended question. That to is. find out more about their motivation. Okay, so what would be another example? A or B, yes or no, open-ended of, I wanna find a replaced property before I list. Would you like to be moved in three months or would you like to start yes. moving? Yeah. <laughs> well that's that's no you're on the right track kind of goes a little bit to this first one of how soon do you need to be in your new home but another way you could put it to valerie's point is what we do okay so would you like to have your home sold would you like to be in your new home in 30 days or would you like to be there in three months you know it's another way of asking that question right because if they want, if they tell you the answer to that, then you have to tell, are they, you have to ask the next question. Well, if, if your house, do you think it's important for your house to be on the market now, or would you like to have a seller? I don't know. There's like a whole thing to that. Mm -hmm. I get it. I get it. No, I, I think, I, I think you're on the right track there. So think of, so copying and pasting, right? Look at some of the yes or no questions on the previous one. Oh, I like that one. That's it. it sounds like you really want to make sure you find your home before you um, list your home uh, because they like. I have one. Do you have specifics like. 
Okay, go ahead. I'll I'm, I'm lost. I'm lost now. Never mind. No, okay. you're on the right track, Sylvia. You're on the right track. You Absolutely. Need, Albert, go ahead. Do you need the proceeds from this sale to purchase the next one, or can you buy it before listing? Mm. Smart ass. Oops. I wish people yeah. ask that question more often. Do you yeah. need, I think, not no. Do you need like the that. proceeds from this sale to purchase your next property? Your you next need, property. Do you need no? Can you let me have one? <laughs> no, I'm telling I'm helping no, no, you with it's, the typing. It's, I mistyped that one. That's great. Right. That's a great yes or no question. <laughs> do you okay. need the process right? Process. Okay. All right, keep it going. I guess you can ask them um, what part of town they're most interested in living. Or sure. sure, absolutely. Or like okay. what kind of style of home they want. Yeah. Or need. Sure. What area would you like to move to, or something along those lines? Yeah, to move to, right. I mean, the questions can be simple. They don't have to be complicated. Right. So we ask them, what if we do not find a home that meets your criteria? Are you potentially okay with staying here? That's a great mm. question. That is a good one. Oh, thank you. Good job. That would be try to get their motivation. Right. It's an open-ended question. Great for that motivation. Okay. So I'm going to help you out with another one. Oh my God. Down by the river. Down by the river. There you go. You're good. Good job. So okay. there you go. So there's another yes or no question because that's their big concern. Okay. So yeah, that's putting be, it on the table, Robert. <laughs> let's do it. What could be an A or B question? I want to find a replacement property before I list. What could be an A or B question? If we're unable to find your a replacement property would you be would would you would you rather uh, uh, rent back or extend I don't know never mind uh. <laughs> oh you're on you're you're on to something there okay you're on to something would you be open to well, that's a, what's your property before you find your hold, perfect hold, hold on, Valerie. Sorry. So, Sylvia, say, <laughs> say it a little louder, Sylvia. Valerie. I was just going to say, would you be open to leasing um, a home in the meantime until you find your perfect home or something like that? Okay. If you were to sell so, your would you be open? to selling this property and leasing a property until we found the perfect home. Something like that? Yeah. Or I have one. Did you, you know that once your property, property leasing a property or until we found the perfect home? Okay. Once we, we once we list your this. property. Did you know that when we list your property, we have 30 to 10 ways to find replace? Did you know that we have 10 ways? Once we list your property, did you know we have 15 ways to look for a new property for you? That like is that a that's a yes or no question i guess did you know that we have this a method we have methods of that's good i like that valerie did you know did, did you know that we have 10 
Okay. But you have asked the question. Yeah, we have a residence basement property. Did you know that? I go over those with, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can go over those with me, sure. There you go. Okay, that's good. So this is an open-ended right? question. So this one right here is a yes or no. This is a yes or no question, right? Because can I go over those with you? Yes. Okay. Um, this one right here also a yes or no question. So Shasha, go ahead. Give me a one. So yes or no and open-ended question is different? Yes, because open-ended is, yes or no is a very simple, straightforward. It's only a yes or no. So do you need the proceeds from the sale to purchase your next property? That's either a yes or a no. If I say, how soon do you need to be in your new home? Well, I could be there in three, I have to be there in three months, but I, I could be there sooner if I really need to. Like they have to explain the answer. Yeah, like an open-ended question can't be yes or no. It's right. everything, everything else besides yes and no. Correct, 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 correct. So you okay. told me- Okay, I need an open, but I need an, an A or B question. So you told me you wanted to move to Walnut School District for your kids. Uh -huh. You wanted to continue staying here. Right. So where's the question? That's the question. No. <laughs> So the question would be, you want, so, 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 so a question could be, do you still want to stay in the Walnut School District? You or know, how so important that, is that, it to you? Yeah. So that could be right. That could go along the lines of what area would you like to move to? What type of home are you looking for? So that's a great question, Sasha. It goes right in with that. You know, if you know, our, if you already know, what they want, you could do that, you know? So do you still want to stay in the Walnut Schools District? Do you still want to stay in this city, in this town? You know, how important is it for you to be walking distance to the beach? You know, like those are all great open-ended questions that we can ask in regards to this. But we got, we can't, we're, 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 we're about to wrap up. I need an A or B question for, I want a replacement property before I list. I mean, I have one, but what is that? What I don't want to give it. Wouldn't the A or B be, wouldn't, would, would you be open to selling this property and leasing it back or doing a rent back or? No, that's, that's on me. Cause that's, it's really more of like this, I guess this could be like a slash. So. Oh, oh. Or, or you would can... you be open to selling this property and leasing the property? Or would you be open to selling this property and doing a rent back until we found a perfect home? So it's more of a yes or no question. So that's good, good catch. That's on me for mistyping that. Oh, you yeah. Uh, what about do you want to take advantage of this hot market that we're having now or do you want to wait and not know what the market is in the future all right that'll work okay <laughs> out of the box do you want to Take advantage of this hot market. Wait until the market possibly changes. Okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, so I want to wait for replaced property before I list. Okay, you could also do the same thing to Sylvia's point of interest rates. Do you want to take advantage of the lower the low interest rates or a slow interest or possibly or wait until possibly interest rates go up yeah. or risk having or, or risk. Or yeah. Or, or risk waiting and interest rates go up. Yeah. It's a gamble. Yeah. <laughs> to purchase your to purchase your next home because that's what we're talking about. Risk waiting and interest rates go up. Okay. Okay. So 
Okay. Do you think sellers would be more interested in your offer if your home was listed or not listed? That is an A or B question. That was the one I thought. That's key. That's the key question. Good job. Yeah, that's a good one. I'm going to highlight that one. <laughs> okay. So I think we got the gist of this. First of all, two things. One, thank you so much for participating because I could have, I did, I, I'm telling you right now, I already had in my head that if they don't participate, I'm not going to do the class <laughs> because I wasn't going to do this all by myself. Okay. So thank you so much. And two, I think you got it. Y'all did really, really well for just kind of being thrown this, but, but do you see the help, how this makes a difference when you can do this kind of stuff, when you can ask questions in different formats to be able to come at it from different angles, because sometimes with some people, you might have to do it a couple different ways, right? You might, you might talk to someone and, you know, I want a replacement property before I list, you know, well, how soon do we, you need to be in a new home? Well, I don't really have a time frame. Okay. Let me come at it from another angle. Do you need the proceeds from the sale to purchase your next home? No. Okay. You know, I, I might have to come at it from different angles from each individual person. So it's good to be able to know this. This is cool. Good job. Wow. All right. I am nice. So Are we going to get the notes? I'm going to post them in the chat box right now. So you should practice more in the chat box. I'm going to post the link to this Google doc that we just did together. Woohoo! Okay. So for those of you that stuck around, good job. Good job. But to Sasha's point. Okay. And this is what Ron told us at the retreat practice. Okay, practice doing this, come up with different phrases, come up with different objections, write them out, write out the phrase and then say, okay, I got to come up with a different question, A or B, yes or no, open-ended. If nothing else, this gets you better practice at asking questions. This gets you better practice of just being in that selling is not telling mentality. And if you do this, sometimes you're going to run into like we did earlier. Sometimes it's just copy and paste. Some of it fits for everything. You just change a couple words, but pretty soon you're just going to be on the fly. You can do this stuff left and right. And then what you can do is keep this in front of you, put it on your board. So whenever you're prospecting and somebody says something, boom, got it. Okay. Make it part of your presentation, but practice this, go through this stuff. This is a great, great exercise. I was so excited when Ron did this at the retreat because it really is a great exercise to help us ask more questions. Make sense? Yes. Good. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. All right. Let me stop.